the sea will be hurt today. Try! Yay! Bella. <laughs> you don't look like you're awake either. Bella. <laughs> Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? <sighs> I'll tell you, I really needed this chai this morning, so I'm glad that I picked it. Oh, yeah, I'll explain why, but, um, yeah. Before we start this episode of 25 Days of Blissmas, um, I have got, got, I got a comment on one of my videos yesterday that really upset me. Um, the comment was that, um, considering what the state of Kentucky is going through right now, nobody cares about what kind of coffee creamer I want to have in my coffee. And it went on and on about the devastation and how could I be so insensitive kind of thing. Um, I would just like to say that I don't watch the news. I don't read the newspaper. I don't know of all the things going on in the world. Um, and the reason for that is because I'm an empath and I can't handle reading all that stuff. It affects me deeply. And um, considering what we just went through over the last two years, um, that put me and a lot of other people in a really bad state uh, of depression and we're still going through it. I've gotten comments and emails and stuff about it as well saying how they're, they go through bouts of depression and, and serious bouts of depression and everything. And, um, and I get it. I totally get it. Now, I just recently found out about what happened. Um, and the only reason I found out about it was there was a comment on Petra's Facebook page, Petra from Petra's Happy Place, who lives there in Kentucky, and um, saying that they were sending prayers to Petra. Now, Petra is a good friend of mine, and we talk often, and she never mentioned anything to me about what was going on there. And that's the only way I found out. So I instantly contacted her and asked her if she's okay. Um, and, you know, telling her I'm sorry. I had no idea. You know, um, if I had have known, I would have said something. But, um, yeah, I'm so sorry. I, like I say, I had no idea. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I am so grateful that my friend is okay. You know, I, that scares the crap out of me. Tornadoes are a force to be reckoned with, man. Like they're just, 
they devastate families, they devastate um, farms, and it's, it's a sad thing, you know, um, and I really hope, I know that, I think I heard that there was like 80 deaths or something, um, this is the bad time of year for that to happen, I'll tell you, I mean, it's, it's bad anyway, but at Christmas time, it seems like bad things always happen around Christmas time. And it's so sad. Or maybe it's just that we feel it more because it's Christmas. I don't know. But um, anyway, you know, when we do these videos, we do it so that people can kind of get away from their, their problems and their things that are happening in their life and kind of just lose themselves in something else. You know, and um, sometimes it helps. I've gotten comments all the time saying, you know, thank you for what you do. You know, you've helped me tremendously or, you know, like, and it just warms my heart so much to know that I've done something for you guys. You know, I've helped you in some way, you know. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm so upset about what happened out there. Um, I wish everybody, you know, I send everybody my love and, and warm wishes and, you know, and I pray that the families out there are okay. And, um, that's all, that's all I can do. That's all I can do is just send my love and, and, you know, and hope that everybody's safe and I, and say how sorry I am for their loss. Um, I can't fix the world. Right now, BC, where I live, is in a state of emergency. Uh, I don't talk about it, you know, but we are. Um, the rains have completely decimated uh, homes here and roads, main roads. Uh, it's going to be a long time before they can fix that road. And that's our main artery to the rest of the country or to the rest of, the, of Canada. And all of our trucks for food and products and everything um, go through that road so um yeah we've got food shortages we've got like it's just crazy when you see the video footage of of the landslides and everything that are happening here it's unbelievable people's houses were washed away like this is unheard of here like we don't get that kind of stuff so, you know, tragedy happens all around the world and we can't fix everything. And I'm sorry if I don't talk about everything that's going on out there because I don't know what's happening out there. You know, I sometimes I shelter myself because I just can't handle it. So I just know, Petra, I'm, I'm sending you my love. Um... If you, if you need to talk, I'm here. You know that. And I love you terribly. I just, I love you so much. And I'm so happy that you are okay. All right. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Okay. So let's get on to some happier things. All right. Putting my hand in the box. Aww. Look. Oh, that's a, that's a, uh, a button. Oh, wow. Isn't that cute? Huh. Now I just need three more. <laughs> and then I can put it on a sweater. <laughs> 
That is so cute. Look at the shine. It's all sparkly. Thank you. That is really cute. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Can't think of anything else. I'm sorry, guys. That just that was really weighing on my mind last night. I didn't sleep much last night um, because of that. And I just wanted to get it out there. So this vlog is going to be sad, I guess. <laughs> All right. Oh, so the question that we did... I don't have the answer to, <laughs> apparently. What the heck? Huh. Well, I know the answer to it anyway. Okay. So the question that we did yesterday was name the animatronic cassette play playing bear toy that everyone wanted for Christmas in the mid 80s. It was Teddy Ruxpin. Um, yeah, that, that Teddy Ruxpin, I'll tell you. Wow. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. So most of you got it right. Okay, today's question is, which U.S. state was the first to declare Christmas an official holiday? Wow. I've never even given that some thought. I, Christmas has always been Christmas. Hmm. Which U.S. state was the first to declare Christmas an official holiday? Hmm. Interesting. Leave your comments down below. Ah, okay. All right, guys. This is going to be a really short one today. Okay. I love you all. Stay safe. Okay. I love you. Bye.